Whole new room, whole new style, whole new episodes. And what better way to kick it off than with something extreme. While walking in the aisles of a dollar store, I saw something that caught my eye. Cheap wrestling action figures. And for $1.25, I thought, I'll be a fool not to buy them. There was only four of these awesomely cheap extreme fighting wrestlers. And as you can see, they all come in similar packaging. The package here, it says extreme fighting action playset. And each wrestler comes with accessories included. This one comes with some kind of thin ladder. And the figure itself is pretty good. You can see that the paint job is pretty all right. The head moves side to side, the arm moves up and down and bends at the at the elbow, and the leg also bends and moves as well. For $1.25, this is a pretty good figure. This blue mask figure came with, what I said earlier, a thin ladder. Now if you look at the ladder, it does open and it does go all the way. Which, you know what, for an accessory, it's not all that bad. When combined, he's actually managed to able to hold the ladder. And now, Viagra Man, since he's blue, is able to crush his opponent in the face with it. This is the only figure in the line to not come with a mask. And as you can see on the face, he has some kind of face paint, uh, maybe a sideburn that they didn't connect. Uh, it, it also looks like it could be a bandage. Uh, I have no idea, but let's call him Weird Face Paint Man. And as you can see, he comes with the essential accessory of a steel chair. This is a must have for any wrestler. This figure comes with some kind of snake tattoo across his chest. I guess I'll call this one Cobra Commander. And if you look closely, I'm pretty sure that's the face he made and everyone else made when they realized that the dress was black and blue. If you look, the accessory that he comes with is um, a steel barricade. Last but not least is this one, and as you can see, he's all in white. I guess I'll call him White Savior, and his accessory is... a chainsaw. Yes, because every time I watch wrestling, they're always... cutting off each other's limbs with a chainsaw. He shouldn't be White Savior, he should be the White Mutilator! That's it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, click like, leave a comment, and remember to hit me up on Instagram at the underscore good looking nerd for all things nerdy.